That's where I was trapped all those years ago. Arlac Pit's like the number one throat goat in the Star Wars universe. <laughs> <laughs> move over, Nancy <laughs> Reagan. There's a new girl in yeah, town. Move. What's up, everybody? It is me, Sean Tanktop. I'm over here at Casa de Tanktop, hanging out with my very good friends, Dustin and Morgan Drace over there at the Dojo Drace. How you doing over there, Drace? The Dymo Drace is over there, maybe. Oh, wow. Yeah, the Dymo Drace yeah. is nice. Has a good That'd ring right. to it. Absolutely. I always thought I would be a, a crime lord over being royalty. Being royalty sucks. You would be but... salacious, Crom. Yeah. That's true. I mean, like, that, and it's just, like, if you're not good at your job, then, like, fucking, like, you see the two in the back of the head, or you gotta leave town. I mean, at least Wait. you're, like, you, the are you saying I wouldn't be good at criming? I think I would you be, would be, but be what I'm great. saying is, is, is that right. like, I feel like if you're, if you're in the royalty thing, you're like stuck oh, there yeah. and okay. you got to do all these stupid fucking ceremonies that are boring as fuck. You can't wear all these dumb fucking seafood hats. because the stupid queen. Yeah. That's like the weirdest fact about the queen of England is that she, uh, you cannot, she doesn't like shellfish. What? She's, she That's how old she is, though, because she remembers when they used to sl in e in ancient Egypt they would feed shellfish to, to slaves. Because mm -hmm. she remembers that from her, from, <laughs> from back in her youth. To her slaves in England. From back, in but, Egypt. Yeah, you know, back in back back in the Utes of like when or whatever. Queen she remembers was she was, Queen of Egypt. She but we're not talking about that right now. <laughs> so shout out to all you Brits out there. I'm sure you're loving that one. Another thing that we have to consider before we go any further is going to have to be our sponsor. We like fantasy and sci-fi elements that excite our imagination. And that's why Raid Shadow Legends stands tall. Actually, wait, before we get any further, I want to take this seriously. I got to get the green screen. <laughs> Look at that. You can play it right now. You can play it right now because you're an adult or maybe you are or aren't, but you at least have a phone. One of the big things that everybody looks forward to within the new releases of Raid are their bosses. And we got one of the biggest and craziest ones yet. This thing is a Hydra. This thing has six different heads. Now I just started in the game, but I am very, very excited to be going head to head. <laughs> is the head of light. I mean, this one's like super nasty. It really likes poisons and it makes it super hard for your team to land your attacks. It's sort of like when you're in a dream and you're fighting your dad, which like happens all the time to everybody, right? And you're landing all of your punches, but they're not doing anything. But unlike fighting your dad in your dreams, you'll actually be super elated and emotionally satisfied by the time you finally vanquish him. Right, 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 Pop? Another one that I'm looking really forward to battling against is the Head <laughs> of Torment. I'm pretty sure that's a title of like a Dungeon Synth record that Dustin owns. It specialize in using this tactic called True Fear to drag your team down. It makes you skip your turns. It makes you lose access to your skills. But I can really relate to the tactic that you need to use in order to defeat this thing which is to hide, <laughs> because that's what I do with literally all of my problems. What you'll need to do is to bring in champions that either have Veil or Perfect Veil skills if you want a chance against this thing. And they've also released a bunch of awesome new champions, along with a brand new Faction Wars Crypt for one of my favorite factions, the Shadow Kin. I love these guys. These guys are super metal. I can't wait for the Crypt to open up so I can dive in, see what it's all about. If you use my link in the description or scan my QR code, you'll get a free starter pack worth almost $30. We're talking about a free champion. We're talking about 200,000 silver. We're talking about an energy refill. We're talking about one XP boost and one ancient shard. <laughs> now, all of this stuff is waiting for you here. If you click the QR code or hit up a bunch of the links in the description, all of these rewards will be available for only 30 days and only for new players. So make sure that you sign up now. If you haven't done before, you're not going to regret it. And once you're in there, you can find me within game under the name you guessed it, Sean Tank Top, one word. And if you're fast, you can come and join my clan. Just click the link in the description and I will see you in the game. And we appreciate Raid for sponsoring this video. No, but we're over here and we are doing um, The Book of Boba Fett, uh, season one, and we are on episode four. So the huts are, are gone and the huts like maybe are, are taking Or are us they? Or are they, you know, for sure. I mean, we're thinking of that and like, oh, it's it's the pike, it's the fishmen, you know, kind the of coming over. And it. It's the fish police are fucking coming over to hang out and you know, shit like that. No, slugs and fish are mortal enemies. So it makes sense that they would just poochie on out of there. 
they gave it a they gave it a college try uh taking over and stuff and then like and then they were like all right Amy morgan characterized this on our boba brunch breakdown which you should check out this coming sunday um we're gonna have an awesome time over there but i think he said like okay we tried to take over oh we didn't work okay cool have a dog like you know what i mean like that's yeah. you know what here's i mean a, it's just like gift. it's a rest seriously dog. like no hard feelings because they don't want anything to come back on them i guess i think is like the whole thing or it's like when you move out and you're like hey you like this table it's yours i don't want to move it yeah they don't want they just don't want to deal like, with ah, it like, just, this it's just a rancor off planet that this seems like so right. depressed yeah which yeah. i expect yeah. i hope they do a dodo video about this rancor <laughs> this rescue <laughs> rancor was so depressed when he came to live with boba fett Right, Took a little sure. bit of love and he came out of his shell. And then we're just going to see what's going on with the pikes, if there's anything behind the pikes, if we're going to have ourselves like we still kind of have not really had the big bad. I mean, we talked about this and Maddie K. Ray, who's also on our, our, our uh, brunch brunch boba breakdown said that i can't remember her name but jennifer beals's character yeah. is kind of being like is 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 that you know the uh, the the madame of the sanctuary it's like are you the secret villain in this fucking I thing i think she's like, the, you, the big boss I think it could be. I think it absolutely could be. It's either that or we've talked about like we've talked about Crimson Dawn and stuff like that a little bit, which I think would also be fun. I will say this. I would like a little more permanence in some of the threat of this story. Like I want to have an adversarial type of I want to build an adversarial relationship with somebody that lasts longer than an episode. Yeah. You know what I mean? Much. Or something like that. And so I don't know. I, I, that's what I would like. Um uh, you know, we don't know if we're going to get it. The only way that we're going to know is if we check this thing out. Yeah. You guys get going. All right, cool. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us as we go through the Book of Boba Fett season one. If you guys want to get early access the day that we shoot them, um, you can find that on our Patreon. You can hit us up at the Vassal tier, hit us up with eight bucks. Uh, that unlocks early access to our Book of Boba Fett coverage where you get the full and uncut reaction to all all of our Book of Boba Fett stuff, including you get it before we drop it on YT. So if you hit us up on our Patreon, the link is in the top end comment below, and it's in the description. So hit us up over there if you can, but if you can't do that, but you still want to help out the channel, hit us with a like and a subscribe. It really helps us out tremendously. All right, let's get an eye on this here pup. Let's see what we're doing. If he's going to be playing, you think he's going to be playing fetch with him or something like that? That could be fun. Again with the fucking back to tank? The pig was in that. He's in that piggy water. Ew. He's, oh, he's in the hot ham water too. <laughs> yeah. That's right, because he threw the one guy in there. Ew. Yeah. It was hot Gamorian ham. I mean, he looks like a boiled hot dog, so. Oh, yeah, this is totally when he meets up with Fennec because he just wandered in the desert. He looks exactly, yeah, he's got like the, he's got the gaffy stick and he's got the, the sniper rifle and, and everything. Was he in? Rotisserie. Some like unseasoned fucking frog meat. <laughs> nice. Oh, give him some. He's got He's hungry. Give him. Oh my god, this oh. is like the closest. This is the closest that we're ever gonna get to like a big like practical appa from from ATLA. Yeah. You know what I mean? Look at him. <laughs> they're gonna kill this cow. <laughs> they killed so Anything many nice, they're gonna fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this remember the flare sequence with Mando and the and and Fennec? Yeah. Ooh, and they had that little the little Mando sting right there yep. with the That's music. Cool. Nice. Holy shit, shared universe. Oh, wait. Uh, wait, you, wait, you mean these, these things relate to one another? That is fun that we're kind of getting this like connective tissue all the way from like season one of Mando. Give her a robot. I don't know. Or, He's got to make her a robot. Make her a robot. You He's stick a robot turn her in into her. A robot. Oh, I don't know. She got a wound. You just shove a robot in there. I don't know. And it. You just put it. a. Ro <laughs> you just shove an R two unit in there and see what happens. And like right at this moment, like he's doing this. Like Bobby Cavanale's son is like holding a gun to fucking Grogu's head. Like right oh, now yeah. in that in that in that episode. Oh! Cool. Ooh, okay, here's the other mods. Nightclubs. I like whatever's happening in that club. Fucking nerds. <laughs> These nerds. All the kids are into the mod modifications, what the kids are into. 
It's like what everybody's it's like. It's yeah. like it's all this hair dying and all these face yeah. tattoos. Yeah, whatever this is that's playing right now, I want this on the soundtrack. For sure. Oh, we got a blood rave. I know. I was about to say that. I'm like, is this the. <laughs> oh my God. I like that Thundercat's doing all the Oh work. shit, Thundercat. I, I saw the hair. I was like, it kind of looks like him. No, this is that is Thundercat. That is, is absolutely Thundercat. Thundercat. Okay, yeah. I yeah thought, that, no, no, good call. Like, yeah. Oh God. Now we just do like that TikTok dance. I want to party with you. Oh, baby. Like, that's what that's, <laughs> they just start playing that shit. That's awesome. Oh, there he is. Dang, she got hydraulic abs now. Oh, my God. Oh, God. It looks like the inside of Luke's hand, like like the way that those tendons would use and shit like that. That's crazy. If that much of her stomach was missing, how is she alive? Cause look, look at the goo. Look at the goo. Like it's the magic. It's the magic goo, Morgan. Gonna close her up. Cover all that beautiful machinery. What? Thundercats in this show? That's incredible. Thundercats, like I've already been a part of a fucking anime on Netflix. Now I gotta fucking check the Star Wars box. You know what I mean? Like, I saved your life. <laughs> Ooh, that would be wild. That would be mm -hmm. a little freaky. Who are you? I am Boba Fett. Boba is dead. I was. <laughs> oh. like, I know. I know. I went out like a bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> if I help you, my debt is paid. So something else happens with yeah, them that yeah. makes them stick together. That's interesting. Yeah. Blows my mind that this is all like rear projection in like a studio. Like that, that, that dusk scene. It looks so fucking good. It's crazy. I give Bib Fortuna to this is that he had a lot better security detail. <laughs> right? No one's coming into his tank room and manhandling him. Ooh, look at that guy. This is cute. A little drone. A little drone bomb. Yeah, drone bomb. Hell yeah. <laughs> Did we have to go through the sewers? I don't need any toilet cam stuff from Bib Fortuna, for Christ's Ew. sake. <laughs> for Christ's sake. It's time to say farewell, my friend. No! Aww. No! Aww. Oh my gosh! Hey, 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 hey. He sends him out there. He goes, finds himself another pack. He doesn't get shot I in the know. crossfire. It's I for the know. best. Go make baby banthas! <laughs> no, go... Go get to fucking. <laughs> right, go go start a family. Give you like a whole map of the inside of that place, basically. Uh, yeah. Nice. It's a lot of guards. Yeah. That's a that's so many people that are in this palace that just are not in this palace anymore. Ooh, <laughs> oh, we salad. got the chefs over here. Oh, making a slaw. <laughs> no. <laughs> no! Borsha, borsha, borsha. <laughs> oh, this little asshole. I remember this guy. I have news for you on the master sale barge. What do you mean? He's just got out. He's a chef. Oh, no. No, he's the, he's the, he's the droid torturer. <laughs> He's like the See, dry water guy is like, I don't get paid enough for this. Oh my god, this. look at it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> he's going full Grievous on him. <laughs> oh my god, just slit his throat. I love it. <laughs> Why do they build these droids with like the same anatomy as humans? I don't get it. They want to be eventually have, if they need to, have sex with them or something like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> if they yeah. need to? Or need to. If they, yeah. they got to do it, you know. Look at Who's this little guy. Oh, oh, these guys are from these guys are from the prequels. I remember these guys. Oh, <laughs> he's the rat catcher. He's a rat catcher. Don't mess with oh, him. Leave him alone. He's just trying to do his job. No, he's too, he's, leave he's too cute. I don't think that they'll like outright kill him. Or maybe they will. I don't know. Leave the rat catcher out of this. This is like turning into that scene from uh, from The Little Mermaid where he's oh, trying yeah. to kill Sebastian. <laughs> yeah. No! Gotcha. Informant. Who I am? 
<laughs> oh. oh, he killed himself. Do you think he killed himself? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm so sad. Morgan, you know this from Clone Wars. It these <laughs> droid lives do not matter. Yeah, they do too. They're sweet babies. Hey, at least he went out on his own accord, and they didn't yeah. like murder him to death or anything. But he cried, and he was so he can sad. Turn back on his no, he can't. Left a fucking Corvette in the garage. Does it still work? They oh, I'm fix sure it. it's not. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, it's. I don't know how long it's been in there. Oh, There's so many of them. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, why, Boba? You need to get this many people. I think he will. I think. I think that that's definitely kind of on the horizon. But like. <laughs> oh, again, just killing all the little droid babies. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna burn them. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay. Didn't like light them all on fire or some shit. These guys are getting the fucking employee of the month award right here. Holy yeah, fuck! Yeah, right. right. Like, that's a lot. Seriously. Yeah. I'm back. Nope. I'd be like, I tried. They just sort it's of like they're already starting. They're they're in the ship. Like I like you know. Ooh, Black Widow wow. fucking move right yeah. there. <laughs> nice. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, she did it. So, <laughs> so they know how incompetent these Gamorrean guards are because they bested them literally like a couple months previous. Yeah, and he <laughs> like, hired them. Why? <laughs> That's why they're always fucking, fucking slow on the trot over there. Would you like to be dropped? Where are you headed? I have a few scores to settle on. She's got nowhere else to go. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, it would be, you know, you'd want to be like, listen, I just got gut shot. You know, I could, I could fuck, fuck these guys up and may, make a little cash or something like that. That's what I'd be thinking. Get a little, get a little money together. Oh my God. These guys are going to get blown the fuck away by this shit. <laughs> oh man. Yikes. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Is he going to ask them if they killed? Leave one alive so you can find you can find out. Yeah, because Fennec was like, the, they didn't kill those Tuscans. They, they're not good enough. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just vaporized all of them. Okay, they're all dead. She's Fun. like, well, we could have used a little bit of info. <laughs> she yeah. just gives him the cool just gives him the cool guy nod. <laughs> There's the smile that you guys are talking about. You see it a lot more clearly now. Yeah, he's got the but he's got the unibrow for sure. He's <laughs> just happy to be there. Are they gonna explode yeah. it? Yeah. Is he gonna drop a bomb in it? Don't kill the Rancor. The Rancor's just chilling. Oh my god. He, <sighs> it's a, Morgan, it's a ran it's it's a animal not minding a, its not own. Not a business. rancor pit, what's it called? Sarlacc. Sarlacc. No, Don't a Sarlacc pit. Yeah, 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 Sarlacc pit. But like, yeah. Sarlacc pit. That's where I was trapped all those years ago. So years, okay. Years? Oh, years ago. He wasn't there in there for years. But he doesn't know that those Jawas peeled it off of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's going in there for nothing. This is pretty nuts. Take a look at this old butthole in the sand. Dude, the Sarlacc pit's like the number one throat goat in the Star Wars universe. <laughs> <laughs> move over, Nancy <laughs> Reagan. There's a new girl in yeah, town. Move, move over, fancy Nancy. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Still alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Trying to finish the job. Oh, and it's got that yeah. it's got that stupid special edition beak. This is that meme when you nut and she's still sucking. <laughs> when you nut and she's still sucking for sure. Yeah, right, absolutely. <laughs> 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 Number one throat goat. <laughs> this episode is so weird. It's, it's like, all flashback. Like, we haven't had a single thing that's in, like, the current timeline. Oh, my God. They're going to drop a seismic charge into it. Oh, fuck. Oh. Fire in the hole. Oh, wow. 
Jesus. Is it? Oh, okay. For a second, I thought it was like, is this thing going to be attached and we're going to see what it looks like when it's outside of the sand? Yeah. That'd be crazy. No. <laughs> I just like that we're just like, I've got a couple scores to settle. Killed the bikers, killed the Sarlacc. Oh, and he's all covered in this shit. Ugh, gross. Imagine <laughs> how gross he must smell right now. Oh, my God. I can't even imagine it. Yeah. The only one that could tell us is Nancy Reagan, but she's dead. <laughs> which is also which is also really funny. I'm tired of our kind dying because of the idiocy of others. We're smarter than them. Medicare for all for bounty hunters or something yeah. like that. Yeah. That's what he wants. You know. He's like a union. We should organize. Living with the Tuscans has made you. <laughs> no, they're great. You can only get so far without a truck. Well, I wish you followed your own advice. You like oh. should have had a tr like a lead a little bit more than two people when he took over this palace. Yeah. So where are all the guards now? Did they kill all of them? Congratulations, Master Fett. You are completely healed. Okay. Oh, he's not a ball sack anymore. I think we're all caught up on that. Maybe we're, maybe it's all. There he is again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there he oh, is there just he having is. a Look drink. Love it. <laughs> he's just upset. <laughs> is it just like God. no one's literally ever done a nice thing for me ever and he just doesn't know what the fuck to think about it, but he just wants to take this, these guys' shit. gonna beat the shit out of these guys he's like i'm gonna beat the fuck out of these dudes he's like one of those he's one of those regulars where you can kind of see it where it's like he's just on a tear and you're like i'm gonna deal with yeah. something with this asshole yeah you're waiting for a reason to kick him out you're like all right what are you gonna do this is countdown to bad news oh, shit. also they're transdotions and they have like the biggest beef ever like you were a legend in the name Chrysant and drew crowds by the thousands. There we go. Your knuckle dusters are more feared than blast. Knuckle dusters, that's a funny name. <laughs> She's looking more and more fabulous and done yeah. up. I think Speaking she might of be. knuckle dusters, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's say you release this customer and let these fine folks get back to their fun. I will wipe your debt off the books. It's like free drinks. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Is he going to bite this guy's head off or something? Oh, <laughs> oh it's <a> hard one. <laughs> Because Wookiees don't rip people's arms out of their sockets when they lose. Hit it, Max. Hit it, Max. Yeah, oh, that, that like, Max. That like confer I mean, like it, it, we haven't he heard him called by name. It's Max Rebo confirmed. But it's, it's motherfucking Max Rebo. Like yep. the piano player that couldn't be killed. Looks like you could use a job. Yeah, dude. What else are you doing? Jabba the Hutt once sat upon that throne. His reign ended in a. Okay, here we go. We get the fucking. We get the meeting of the meeting of the fucking gangster families over here. What prevents us all from killing you and taking what we want? <laughs> Oh wait, is he still alive? He's alive, he's alive. Nice. So one droid made it out alive of this episode. <laughs> they have only challenged your territory. Why should we spill the blood of our- Cause they're gonna come for you as soon as they take that, dude. Yeah. I will vanquish these interlopers who threaten our planet. All I ask in return is that you remain neutral. If the Pike Syndicate approaches you to betray me. I guess like earn their respect by fucking saving the day or something like that, I guess. All right, now where's the fucking, where's, where's the spaghetti and gravy? What's going on over here? Come on, like, yeah. <laughs> we've been waiting all day for it, oh. <laughs> we got a goo. Oop, they're gabagon. Mm, they're gabagon. <laughs> we gotta gabba get out of here. Gabba ghoul the hut. Yeah. Gabba the hut. <laughs> gabba the hut, yeah. oh my God. Gabba the hut. Jabba's gabba. We must prepare for war. With your like eight people. Mm -hmm. Credits can buy muscle. If you know where to look. Whoa. That means that they're gonna hire are they gonna hire Din? Uh, are they gonna hire Mando? That'd yeah, be cool. 
they just did the little noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know, no, 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 no. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Another tired Grogu. Yeah. He toddles out. <laughs> so <it> chokes everybody. <laughs> he just kind of comes out and he does that little, that little, he, he, like, I think I, I rewatched that scene where he kind of blocks, like, the fire or whatever, and he just kind of goes, meh. Like, he does, like, meh. this little cute little, like, meh, like, type of thing or whatever it was. <laughs> Fun episode. I am very much into the fact that we are kind of, it seemingly, it seems like when, if, if ever, are we going to be done with like flashback central flashback time? I think that might've been the last pretty one. Clo- I would think we're close. I think, I think we are. I think we're, cause like, cause they, remember like he gets out and she's like, you are finally healed. Like you don't need to be uh-huh. soaking in this fucking thing. So I, th- I feel like that's it. And it's just going to be kind of like a forward motion, like of the. He already he settled all of his beefs. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. You know, like, um, <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Sarlacc. Kinda, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Eat shit, Sarlacc. Like. <laughs> R.I.P. to the real one. R.I.P. to the real one. R.I.P. to the, the best throat goat in the galaxy. Listen, God she was doing her best. Digest she it, took, bitch. She took the whole ship. You, you were saying before, I thought it was kind of interesting, Dustin, where it was just, you're like, this is a weird episode. Does that does yeah. that remain to be so? Or like, or like, is it just like, the was it like the pacing of it a little bit? Or just kind of like, what's going on? Or, or what? what? Because I, I know what you mean, yeah. but, I, but I, I'm, I'm like, what, what what spurred that on a little bit? Even yeah, like, I liked it. It, it. it was just him going and like, yeah, settling all his dumb scores. And just going back and being like, fuck you, Sarlacc. Fuck you, biker <laughs> fuck guys. Fuck you, fucking biker gang. Right, right, I'm taking right, my plane sure. and I'm getting out of here. Fuck off. It's weird that they had Venick explicitly say like, oh, the biker gang couldn't take out yeah, the and then, Tuskins. Yeah, and then they just killed them anyways. Cause like, I mean, I, I guess- thought that was foreshadowing to being like, oh, we're going to go find out who actually did it. But I, I guess thought that they was, just yeah, killed I thought him that there was going to be like a shakedown, like where there's, it's like, who are you working for? And then we're like, not and even then like working and, for and, because she said they couldn't. So like, even if somebody right. hired the bikers, she literally was like, I, that's highly unlikely mm-hmm. that a biker gang could go up against the Tuscans. Yeah. So that's where I'm confused on why they, I mean, I get it. The bikers are a problem. So explode them, I guess. Sure. But it's like. I don't know. It was weird scene to have a scene where they like were like, oh, she no no no. She very pointedly was just like yeah. they couldn't have fucking done that. They couldn't you know have done I mean? that, and then to like just blow them up anyway without any right. like. I'm confused. You, no, that. no. Again, like you would have thought, like that would uh, that would have been a fun scene, like where you could have even done it where you didn't have like a bunch of big explosions. Like you got one, you got like a group of them, like like you know, riding on the on the speeders or whatever it is. You, like they're just kind of sitting there, and then like you see like a bunch of like you know, like light flashes like from explosions and stuff like that. And then he turns around, and there's nobody there. He's just like he was the one in front, and then yeah. you know, like and then slave, and then well, slave, you know, and, and and then the ship comes around, and then like goes right in front of him. And he goes like, what's going on? He goes like, well, we were actually, we didn't have anything to do with that. Like you yeah. were so fucking tough. Like you fucked up our dude so hard. We were just like, we're not even going to touch that shit anymore. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't, if it was done, it wasn't by us. He was like, okay, sorry, I massacred your whole troop. I'll talk to you later or whatever the fuck it was. You know what I or mean? Like, like the Pikes like gave him some sort of fancy weapon that allowed them to actually do it. But yeah, cause yeah, I'm, I'm just very confused on the, uh, yeah, what that was. Why you would telegraph that information and then seemingly not and give go a nowhere fuck. with it? Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's or it's it's a little. That's a, that that element's a little sloppy. It might come back. It might. Yeah. that yeah, might be yeah, revealed we'll at some point. Like they could they could do something like where they, they, you know maybe he has like a parlay with like the head pike guy or something like that, and and he's just like we're just like we actually totally fucked you over and we paid yeah. the bikers to do whatever. You know what I mean? They they still might yeah. say that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like I, I also thought the um. The mod scene went on for like just a a couple beats too long. Like yeah, you know, it was a it was bit. cute. It was I mean it was fun him like you know kind of doing the work and all. But then it kind of just yeah. looked kind of hokey where you just like like pantomiming like soldering. And shit. Like, <laughs> it was just like <laughs> right exactly. All right, I mean, yeah, we get it. It's Thundercat you know, like, in the in this show is pretty fucking sick. Like I, no, I you I, hire and him, like, you got to use him. I know. Get your money's worth. I, I I kind of thought the same thing, but I wasn't one hundred percent sure. But that was a that was a really really good call, and, and that was a fun again, like another fun. Yeah, there's not too many dudes with green like like green dreadlocks, you know. It's yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah a right. Very green or yellow look, dreadlocks you know, or orange yeah. dreadlocks or whatever the fuck it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Like, and then yeah, just like the blowing up of the sarlacc, like the sarlacc uh-huh. being still alive and it having the. <laughs> 
it, it, it having the special edition like CGI beak that they sort of added to the movie or whatever it is was interesting. And just, you know, like how they're just like, yeah, no, George, George said it has a beak, so it's going to have a beak. You know, it's going to be it's going to be a thing in there for sure. You know, for a second, I thought when it was when it was raising out of it, when it it obviously kind of killed it or whatever, when it was coming yeah. out, it was going to it was going to pull the whole fucking thing out of the like ground. Like a prolapsed butthole. <laughs> I mean, perhaps, yeah. No, I mean, it is a big asshole in the sand with big with teeth in it and shit like that. It, it totally could. Big old poop sleeve. Yeah, man. Oh, oh my God. Oh. You're, the, you're the one that said prolapse. You said it. Right, right. No, the poop, but, but no, no, no. no. It, it, a lot of fun stuff coming from the Dre side of the table over here this, this morning. And I'm into you know it. What? This is what happens when you get us up before noon. I'm, I'm always into it, though. I'm always into it. I'm always into it. I, I like the little, the little, uh, drone sequence was also kind of fun. It was cute. I mean, that's why I said it was kind of weird in that, like, the, the, some of the stuff like, like, it was goofy, you know, like them running around, like, fighting the kitchen, you know, chefs. Like the vignettes. And, like, the they, they were, they, they, I think that's one thing that I can say that is, like, a, a bit frustrating about the show, really, is that, like, there just isn't a terrible amount of just, like, connective narrative through lines. Like, there's a lot of, like, vignettes. That mm-hmm. like they, they they contribute to building up like you know Boba's character or like you're know, kind of fleshing out el- elements of the world, but they feel very disconnected. Like the mods, like we got this new thing of the mods, right? And they weren't in the episode at all. They weren't even in. It, no, mm-hmm. they were patrolling the streets. We got one throwaway line about. Right, right, right. which you know, which is again like whatever. But it's like I I think it's just there's. I, I think that that's kind of been a thing with this season. That's and that's and, and to, to to be fair, I mean, like I guess that, that I mean that's definitely how like Mando was kind of structured as well. But I guess because he was still like an active working bounty hunter, it it lent itself a little bit more yeah to the structure. Like I'm taking a gig and I'm going here. I'm hanging out with Bill Burr and I'm going here. I'm doing this and I'm heading out. I'm hanging out in this like village and I'm going here. Like this is <clears throat> like been hanging out in one spot. There's one kind of story that they're kind of trying to tell. It's basically reformed Boba Fett is is essentially proving himself to the to the underworld that he's going to be a good ruler. Like where he's just like, yeah. let me take care of this. I'll save us from the pikes. Don't betray me. And then I'll show you what a good boss I can be. Yeah, I'm not a regular daimyo. I'm a cool daimyo. I'm a cool daimyo, man, for sure. I mean, like he's definitely. I'm definitely getting like some um. Some Stringer Bell like type of stuff where he goes like, I want to create a collective where we all shit like, you know, where he was having those mm-hmm. things like where he was like in the wire where he's having like all of the, you know, kind of like a bunch of the of the captains of like the drug trade or whatever. Just like meet up and shit like that and like and, and, and you know, like share, you know, like have like these meetings and stuff like that, you know, and like have like it was like their version of the five families. And that's kind of what this yeah. was. Yeah, I, I think that there's just some kind of connective tissue of the narrative that feels like a little kind of a little disjointed, I think. I like black Kersantan hanging out and getting shit faced and wanting to pick a fight with like the blood yeah, just guys getting and stuff like that. And angrier and that was interesting. That was interesting bit of characterization from him, you know, and stuff and just kind of personalizing like that feud between them and shit. You know what I mean? He's a bad drunk. Yeah, bad drunk. Like, you know, but it's, but he was just like, no, no, no. I still want to pull this guy's arm off. I'll pay the tab just so I can pull this fucker's arm off. That was right. a fun. That was a fun fucking. Yeah, uh, that was yeah. a, that was a fun moment for sure. Um, like, yeah, we'll give you free drink. He's like, nah, you keep them. No, yeah, I'm uh, gonna take an arm for sure. Yeah, I liked. I, yeah, there there was some stuff in here that I really. Again, I don't think I disliked any of the parts of this necessarily. Like like, for the most part, I mean, like other than like, you know, some nitpicks or whatever. Is I think it's just. I think it's just because it is like it's just kind of built narratively in in in, in a slightly kind of disjointed way. I yeah. think it just kind of I think it could it could just be a little more of a cohesive story. I think, and that's the and that's just the show in general. You know what I mean? Like you know the, but it's still They've like got such cool people working on it too. Like I was just mm. even looking at like this credit screen where like this the sound effects editor is uh, the original like pretty famous sound effects guy from Star Wars, Ben Burt. Uh, ben Burt did, did, was doing this shit. That's incredible. That's awesome. Yeah, so his son is... is uh, Oh! Who, his oh, his wow. son had worked on like, you know, some of the prequels and stuff too, but like, so like, you know, like a legacy sound effects editor, he had like, you know, learned from working with his dad, and so it's cool, and like, you know, we had a, um, uh, 
Dean Cundy is back for this That's episode. It, yeah, that, that, that is pretty sl- sl- slick to get Heavy like hitters, like a dude who fucking like the dude who shot the thing, like shot this show. You know what I mean? And like, and, and it and it and it definitely shows in parts and shit like that. So that's pretty cool. No, they they take the, they take their care with like how they with how they construct everything. I think, I, yeah, I just think it, it, it's if if I if if I have like a little quibble about that stuff, it's because like the. I like guess just how it narratively assembles itself, but every, but again, but again, like it's it's hard for me to be mad at this show because there's just like a lot of fun shit. We blew up the yeah. Starlack pit in this fucking yeah. episode, like you know what I mean? Like that was like it, you know with with a one of those fucking uh, those episode two uh, like those like kind of percussion bombs things, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, those things are fucking yeah. sick. I, lo- I think we just need to kind of like temper our expectations and just have fun with it, you know, like. I, I remember not being super into Solo the first time I see it, but like that's the one I think about. It's, you know, it's kind of living rent free in my head. Or you go back and watch it again, you're like, oh, this is actually a really fun movie. This is really fun. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, for whatever reason, on the first watch, you're like, it's not everything. It's not perfect. And then after a while, you're like, yeah, but it's enjoyable. It's it's, it's yeah. well done. You know, there's some things that could be better, but whatever it's a star war it's a star you know, i mean i i, I think it's i think like that kind of kind of bringing it back <laughs> well that was like that came out during like probably one of the darkest one of, among the darkest periods of fucking of just being aware of star wars in general you know what i mean like it, you know six months after last jedi and all of the lovely discourse that you guys all fucking were able to give us like surrounding that movie yeah i, I yeah i think that that movie just kind of had like a probably like an unfair lens kind of put on it when it's just like we're just here to have fun we're, we're yeah. space swashbucklers and, and like we got childish gambino and we're hanging out and shit like that and also i think the production like troubles that it had and the fact that like ron howard working fucking professional was able to call out a pretty decent movie Mm -hmm. like out of out of that mess is kind of insane a fun episode little little gripes here and there but like had a lot had a lot of stuff on the table i do tend to like the episodes that are longer like this was a longer episode yeah Mm -hmm. the second one was a longer episode you know like it it, it had a little more time to do more stuff and everything like that so i don't know i had a good time with it i'm looking forward to talking about this thing this coming sunday you got to check it out over here yeah man like at at, uh at 3 30 central we're going to be rocking the boba brunch breakdown not the battle of hutta not oh, the no, war just- of Hutta, <laughs> the debauchery of Hutta. What does that mean? A twenty-year orgy, Sean. No, it's been going I mean. on. Like, 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 what is happening? Orgy, like, what is happening on orgy. Hutta, where it's like the entire planet, this entire nation state, sucking and sucking. is sucking and fucking and writhing in their own cum and shit and piss <laughs> and whatever the fuck they're doing. That like the, Why the nation. Would you leave? That the, and we're gonna have a very special guest with us. Um, you know him, you love him. He was a part of one of the most incredible fucking moments of television history, like that I certainly that I've seen in my lifetime. But we got ourselves young Hodor, aka Sam Coleman, is gonna be hanging out with us, talking about this here episode. It's gonna be a shitload of fucking fun. We're gonna be going through all of our theories, all of our um uh you know, like all of our, our kind of random thoughts that we accrue over the, like over the course of the week. Maddie K. Ray, our like our lovely co-host, is gonna be with us and stuff like that i think it's going to be a lot of fun the link is yeah. in the description if you want to check that out um and and hang with us this coming sunday i think it's going to be a lot of fucking fun and also if you guys want to get some early access to these here reactions you can do that by heading on over to our patreon head to patreon.com slash sean tank top you click the link that's in the top pin comment or it's in the description below and you can hit us up over there pony up eight bucks and that gets you early access to all of our book of boba fett coverage including and also like if we hold it out for the rest of the year basically anything that we cover on like Disney Plus like goes up there. So any of the Marvel shows that we have coming up that we're going to be checking out, those will be on there. All the other st- like I don't, like the 18 Star Wars shows that we're going to be getting throughout this whole fucking year and everything like that. I think Obi-Wan's dropping and then I think Mando might be coming up like towards like the end of the year or something like that. I don't know. So we at least got a couple more. So keep it over there if you want to get early access to all of that stuff. Early and uncut access that is. But if you can't do that but you still want to help us out hit us up with a like and a subscribe. It helps us out tremendously. We really do appreciate y'all for coming by and we will check y'all later